So it is still special chapter season. We're not on the like official chapters again, so to speak, but these are all still integral parts of the story. Please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, check the description, do all the YouTube things for your boy. Help, help a ninja out. And let's hop into this next, uh, this next special chapter. Let's get it. So the early days of the universe, a time where I just have dragons, dragons, Vitra clan season, dragons, we, we breathe in fire everywhere. I'm ready. Sorry. All right. I think, I think my system. <laughs> the early days of the universe, a time where errors, both great and small, were being fixed. It was getting patched. <laughs> it was patching the universe. <laughs> our clan was strong enough that the lower ranks of our Nastikas could walk all over the middle ranks of other clans. But... We also um, possess the fatal error of perishing together if we loved each other. Is that an error? Interesting. Is that like was that built in? Like there was no other option. Naturally, that meant that no Raksha shells could be born, and before the problem could be identified, one third of our clanmates had already perished. The solution to this problem that the king negotiated with the primeval gods for was to unify the gender of the whole clan and suppress our emotions. Okay. Since there are many who are stronger in their male form, the Vitras will be unified to their male form. Even the king with a stronger female form accepted a personal loss for the sake of every clanmate. In the face of this decision, followed by the king's sacrifice, anyone weaker than the king could not express their opposition. <laughs> might makes right, baby. Can never go wrong when might makes right. One last guy could bear a story in art by Curry Gump. Side story 12, A Life Flashing. The title describes the phenomenon of a life flashing before one's um, death. Can also mean a shadow picture, lantern, reforming lantern, sorry, revolving lantern, or things like ever-changing or kaleidoscope. Thank you. For me personally, losing my stronger form and being locked to my weaker male form wasn't a big deal in itself. Is this the king? Is this... Is this Vitra? The Vitra clan had lost one third of, of its Nasticas already. And wait, sorry. For me personally, was a strong lose of my form being locked in my weaker male form. Was maybe not, maybe not. Sorry. The Vitra clan <clears throat> had lost one third of its Nasticas already and share. And since it was impossible to produce Rakshasas, there was an unwritten rule to keep us alive as universally endangered species. Neither the gods nor other clans even wanted to fight with us. And since we're living in constant state of boredom with no ambition or desires at all due to our oppressed emotions, we didn't try to do things that might cause conflicts with other clans. That's so fascinating to me. Because I you know, I guess I guess the best real world example I can think is people who kind of sedate themselves into like not feeling anything. And then you kind of live a meaningless purposeless life I, I think meaning and purpose are things that you know well humans at least need i don't know but these freaks i'm kidding although our emotional control was not perfect and there were times where those left with anger or jealousy caused problems that too didn't last long and fizzled out without developing into a universe-wide problem and so the correction of the, v the Veritra clan's errors looked to be a success from the outside but it's not really one but in reality but the reality I faced was different. Tanak Saka, fight me. He's doing it again. He's really nuts. Today I will defeat you. Absolutely. Grab. Yoink. Calm down, Kadru. Do you really want do you really want to die? Oh, it is so Kadru season. Okay. We got dragons. God, this, this is my clan. Alright? We repping. It's my turn. Everyone, he actually nah, baby. Dragon scales. Kaido who? Kaido stink. Um, <laughs> please let please be lenient, Taxaka. This guy is getting a little weird uh, these days. He normally isn't the type of something reckless. Moving. I'm gonna fight right here, right now with that bastard. Bang. <laughs> Are you trying to be funny, or is your remaining emotion reckless courage? Take that empty bravado somewhere else. Though watching a fight is nice, I hate to see an endangered species dying. There's my goat. My dad, Taxaka. I won't I won't hold what happened up wait, I won't hold what happened up until today against you. Leave quietly, never return. This is the extent of the patience I have for you as a clansmate, Kadru. Kadru not looking happy about that. 
emotional resonance? Yeah, otherwise, why would I have ever attacked Taxaka? Since our king wants to fight with Taxaka, I must have resonated with that feeling. Some say that the emotion left inside of Eritra is the desire to fight Taxaka, but he only he still only provokes him verbally and never fights for real. <laughs> he just talks he just talks smack. He's like, hey, just no. I'll beat that much. <laughs> he's just talking he's talking smack? That's kind of funny. <laughs> um he still only provokes him verbally, never fights for real. That's because Vitra is the king and so strong. After all, if Taxaka dies, he can't fight with him anymore, so we can't hastily get into a fight with him. I resonated with that desire to fight him, and since I'm weak with no chance of killing Taxaka, I rush to fight him. Is, is this true or he's making excuses? That's conjecture, nothing more. Yeah, talk to him. No no other clan has said to have emotional resonance to this extent. At most, the inferior Suras lose their minds. We have no inferior Suras. This resonance is stronger than the lowering ranker Sura is. In a clan with nothing left but Nastika, someone like me could be greatly affected. I'm not sure about this besides the fact that it's hard to believe what you're saying. Complaining to me won't solve the issue. If you are so frustrated about this, why don't you go see the primeval gods? It may not be possible to correct the error as it would have been in the beginning since the time for that has already passed. They said... They said, no more patches. We're moving on to our next project. <laughs> Already passed. But they might be able to give you some advice that helps. It wasn't easy for an ordinary Nastika who wasn't a king to meet primeval gods. Rama and Shiva shut themselves. Shiva. Shiva. I need Shiva. Rama and Shiva shut themselves in the god realm after the era of, after the era of correction in the beginning. They said... My job is, as a coder here in this game company is to patch. And once that's done, I'm out. I need went on vacation and I don't know, to the Bahamas or something. I just, I'm okay. All right. All right. All right. This, this joke's getting tired now. Um, Vishnu and Kali are so fickle. It was almost impossible to meet them unless they came to find you first. You What? You want to be guided to Brahmanim? Yes. If it's you all, you know where she is. It's dangerous to recklessly enter the God realm. So if you can help me. Wahaha, I knew it was Indra. Not all the god realm is the same god realm. You can't go where she is. She's in a place higher than even Yama's residence. It's not somewhere that someone of your level can reach. Even I get headaches and can barely stand it for a little while. And I'm forced to return. How could a mere Nastika? Wouldn't your head pop as soon as, go pop as soon as you enter? Jesus Christ. If you really want to visit there, maybe practice some asceticism and try reaching enlightenment. Although I don't know how much time it would take for a nasty guy to get to that point. How could he? I haven't even reached that yet. Maybe if he lived only eating grass for 10 billion years, he would have a sliver of hope. <laughs> the very, he got dismissed. They are so harsh. I will tell Brahma Nim first of all. But I don't know when she will give a response. Okay, thank you. That was Runa, right? Was that Runa? Was Surya? Surya? I kind of can't, can't tell. The primeval god I barely managed to meet advised me to change clans. Although changing clans wouldn't mean a change to my Surya former attribute. If the king I serve changed, the emotional residence would depend on the new king. Though she stated I could never return to the clan left behind. Why don't you think about it a little bit more? You can never go back. If I just stick... If I just always stick around you for when you have the resonance issue how long are you going to stick to me like that i don't like that and so my first choice became the anatta clan since it's a clan with the most similar service forms Vatsuki suggested that i would easily fit in his prediction was not wrong maybe it was because there were many servers weaker than me in the anatta clan or because the anatta had little to no mood swings but the unpleasant feeling of my emotions not being under my control was completely gone that's interesting the days that followed were much more comfortable and carefree than I was still with the Vritra clan. The Anatta clan was neither overly strict or over, nor overly arrogant, but their king who possessed overwhelming power did not wield it re recklessly. A harmonious group of advisors gathered, making up an ideal ruling class. We're learning a little bit about the structure of the Anatta clan. It's interesting. While, ma while many of the other clans had been at war with the gods or had been taken losses from infighting a myriad of time, we, with a strong ruling class, were able to easily preserve our upper rank servers and continue our history. Before I knew it, you began speaking of the Anatta clan as we. Well, as long as you're happy. The friend who had come to visit a while to say hello stopped showing up again one day. It had been a while since I thought of him as a clansman anyway, so I wasn't sad. 
maybe that friend had stopped his visits because he harbored the same thoughts as me. Although for some reason, I thought my life that day had become a little empty. I just chalked that up to a, as a mood. In the end, my new clansmen with me and with proper amount of fights, laughs, and sense of belonging, there were enough means to pass the time. One million years passed like that. Another one million years and another one million years. It's no fun. When I uttered that, my clansmates showed an expression of incomprehension. If it was that friend, would he have understood? I tried inquiring about him, but the Verita clan had already scattered and his whereabouts were unknown. I heard that there were quite a few dragons who couldn't stand the boredom and died. I was glad that my friend's name was not on that list. I was sure he was alive somewhere. I wondered if he was thinking the same way as me. And for some reason, I thought I thought I, that I had to live on. It wasn't fun. Then I, it, If it wasn't fun, then I tried to make things interesting. Passing and telling that was not so difficult. Like that, I spent most of my life as Kaju from the Anata clan until Sagaro became king. And at that time, the method of changing clans had become qu quite widely known. Even when they didn't have a problem with the emotional resonance like me, whether they didn't have the king or for other reasons, there were quite a few who changed clans for the symbolic meaning of changing the king I serve. Guess we'll have to move again. Yeah, with Sagar Rikar becoming the cling, they not the clans no future. It would be it would, it would have been best if Azuki Nim had come to his senses. He's been hopeless ever since renouncing the throne after Anata's death. Let's move before it's too late. Thinking about the clan that looks the most prosperous right now is the Ashura clan. For sure, right? That demon? That menace to society? Yes. Join him. Although it's difficult to leave one's native clan, it's easier to move clans after having done it once. We who made the decision so simply left the crumbling Anata clan and headed to the Asura clan. And there I heard about my long lost friends. It was said that he had recently died. I heard he rebelled against his human mate going to hell after she died, invaded the god realm and died. I couldn't comprehend him taking a human mate, especially... I especially couldn't comprehend that he rebelled against whatever happened to a human after the death to the point of invading the god realm. What a strange guy. I didn't feel anything so-called sadness. It was just because this guy who endured for so long met such a fleeting end. And that, and that the fundamental question of why one lived in the place arose in me, that guy and me. What were we created for? And where were we going? You, real, you realize that when you stand at the top, something like you would never reach there even if you died and revived a thousand times though it's a level of it's it's a level that those bastards reach and then then it couldn't be a, such a big deal rather than living this boring life in which it's difficult to find any more fun trying at least trying at least to reach once so we went he went to cali trying to at least want to read that place when that might not be such a bad choice which is what I thought and then hacks out then when he dies but you're trapped here there was no way you could go to the top or whatever Kadru if if it's a a place reached by the ultimate state of mind do you think what do you think that would be bound physically the bottom or the top of this world exists in anyone it's just that only a few can understand this that then you let me eat you on purpose. Oh man. Oh, is he seeing his friend over there? The last thing I saw is him. I truly have also lived in vain. Scatter. I'm tired. That's another beast I have to carry. Side story, a life flashing end. The end of a Phoenix magician. Jesus Christ. The last time the last part is from season three, episode one forty seven. I remember Kaju when he passed. A life flashing. The dragon who appeared in the first part on the left one, cut uh is this in this one kaju saw them die like that before his very eyes the, the dragon versus ashura clan because of the description of anger and jealousy being the emotion left behind some people thought this panel showed taxaka but taxaka isn't the only dragon left with anger there are many nasikas there must be many dragons with the same emotion left right not kroha's dad the only emotion this friend had left with compassion so he felt sorry for kaju being in a weakened state and stayed by his side until he saw what kaju had, ad had adapted to the nana clan then left in a similar way, he helped many other creatures and lived in such a way that he left the other person's side when the situations improved. Although among the dragons, this was a very sincere life. It may not have been a good life because you cannot guarantee a person who brings compassion is always a good person too.
Fair enough. That's very much true. 300 million years of going on strong. The one in the middle is Kadru's sewer form. This is Kadru's uh, side story, but somehow only extra chapter, only extra sewers appeared big and, and Kadru's sewer form appeared without much present. Nevertheless, there was those who spotted that little panel and wrote a comment saying it was Kadru's sewer form. I will draw him properly when I got the time. The wings are the best part, but it got cut off. Um, the Love of the Dragon Clan. This post was released while the episode was still in Fast Pass. All right, thank you. This pick is a this pick is a preview thumbnail, so it's not a spoiler. There was so many people asked me about this, but for Fast Pass episode, I'm going to keep it simple. Regarding the fact that if dragons love each other, they die. This is also mentioned in my blog, Novel the Finite, so this is not a spoiler. In here, love is not a refined expression I use because of censorship. It is love as the word itself. Of course, love, considering Rakshas says, is love in a physical meaning, could also mean a different form of love. I love you, Curry Gom Nem, LOL, LOL. This scene portrayed that a part, that, that, sorry, the, the scene portrayed in that part is also not censored in nor refined in the exact thing as they already saw. They did not die while snuggling and doing the embarrassing thing. They died doing that exact affectionate touch in the picture the problem happens when their emotions surpass some level but this is not always linked to the physical contact but like when yuta attacks lees the emotions are now likely to grow over the limit and cause problems when they are contacting physically because the dragon started out in stronger with other clans they had a little need for raptor cells which led them to not having mandatory mating without affection in the beginning their mindsets were close to if i have to give birth then with somebody that i adore she real real niggas real clans real <clears throat> we want to do um so they spent a long time searching for a mate before doing the full the full-blown family planning and that process 30 percent who had a mutual affection match died and the other a 70 without a match survived it's not necessary to have things described too detailed in the side story but this episode is already quite long so i admittedly abbreviated some of the background information blah 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 i hope this got some questions on this time there are many who enjoy searching for the exact searching the settings detailed appropriate comments across the boundary sexual harassment please some people are right above the comments i'll be deleted immediately for the public i am confused whether you're asking a pure curiosity or on purpose please save me we're gonna talk people we're gonna talk that was good that was very good